استقبل الفريق الركن سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد ال خليفه مستشار الامن الوطني قائد الحرس الملكي بحضور معالي الشيخ سلمان بن خليفه ال خليفه وزير الماليه والاقتصاد الوطني سعاده السيده ان نيومبرغ نائب مستشار الامن القومي لشؤون الامن السيبراني بالولايات المتحده الامريكيه وذلك في اطار المنتدى العشرين للامن الاقليمي حوار المنام 2024 وخلال اللقاء اكد سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد ال خليفه أن مملكة البحرين والولايات المتحدة الأمريكية تجمعهما علاقات تاريخية وشراكة وثيقة ممتدة على مدار عقود طويلة وقائمة على الثقة والتعاون المتبادل والتنسيق المشترك كشركاء وحلفاء في مختلف المجالات بما فيها المجال العسكري والدفاعي مشيرا سموه إلى أن اتفاقية التكامل الأمني والازدهار الشامل الموقعة بين البلدين جاءت لتترجم هذه العلاقات الوثيقة والسعي المشترك نحو إحلال السلام لافتا سموه إلى ما للاتفاقية من أثار إيجابية على تعزيز التعاون بين البلدين الصديقين مشيرا سموه إلى حرص مملكة البحرين على تعزيز العلاقات مع الولايات المتحدة الأمريكية وتطويرها وتنميتها على الأصعدة كافة بما يخدم الأهداف والمصالح المشتركة للبلدين والشعبين الصديقين وجرى خلال الاجتماع بحث سبل تعزيز وتنمية علاقات الصداقة والتعاون الثنائي القائم بين مملكة البحرين والولايات المتحدة الأمريكية في كافة المجالات والارتقاء بها إلى مستويات أشمل كما بحث الجانبان مستجدات الأوضاع الإقليمية والعالمية حضر اللقاء سعادة الشيخ خالد بن علي الخليفة نائب مستشار الأمن الوطني والشيخ أحمد بن عبد العزيز الخليفة رئيس جهاز الأمن الاستراتيجي وسعادة الشيخ سلمان بن محمد الخليفة الرئيس التنفيذي للمركز الوطني للأمن السيبراني هذا وصدر إعلان مشترك بين مملكة البحرين والولايات المتحدة الأمريكية حول مبادرة تعزيز الجغرافيا المكانية ضمن اتفاقية التكامل الأمني والازدهار الشامل Well, first of all, uh, Deputy National Security Advisor um, Anne Neuberger, the United States delegation, welcome to Bahrain. Um, we really appreciate you visiting our country, but also visiting our country uh, dynamically with big announcements. Um, and especially, um, we have signed, uh, after us signing the SESIPA over a year ago, Uh, we see how um, um, we've been achieving things uh, quite in a fast manner. Uh, we, w we expect to see the United Kingdom to sign and join the SESIPA with us today. Uh, this is a significant um, accord that we have uh, worked on and um, um, I hope that uh, together with our rich history that uh, we have gone through, Um, we see a brighter future as well. Um, so in this spirit as well, I would like to uh, uh, let you uh, and to have a few words if you, if you allow us. Absolutely. So first, thank you very much for the warm welcome to Bahrain. Bahrain is the U.S.'s trusted partner in the region, an innovative partner, one in which we have not only a long history, but an innovative history work together from national security to commercial interests to technology. That was very much captured in the SESIPA agreement that Secretary of State Bill Lincoln had signed with His Royal Highness the Crown Prince a year ago. And it is exciting to be back here in Bahrain, both to broaden the agreement with the invitation to the UK, the documents which will be signed, as well as the announcement we will make together to deepen the partnership as well. So it is wonderful to be here to talk about the next phase in deepening our partnership under the SESIPA technology track. As I mentioned, SESIPA reflects our close security relationship with Bahrain, which is home to the U.S. Navy's Fifth Fleet, as well as the multilateral combined maritime forces, which includes 46 partner nations. SESIPA also includes pillars on trade and investment, and emerging technology because we cannot build peace and prosperity without including the modern innovations as well as the technological advancements that most benefit our people commercially and our people's security. So today we are announcing furthering that vision. Under the auspices of SESIPA's technology pillar, I am proud to announce a new effort called the Geospatial Acceleration Initiative with Bahrain. Through this initiative, 
the U.S. National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, which is a world leader in geospatial intelligence, will collaborate with Bahraini stakeholders to produce and share hydrographic, aeronautical, and topographic geofoundational, geospatial foundation data to enhance navigation safety and bolster maritime security. This cooperation aligns with our joint efforts to counter threats to maritime domains and trade and uphold international law. And we are launching the Geospatial Acceleration Initiative with our Bahraini partners in recognition of our long and close partnership and shared commitments to confront today's challenges with ingenuity and cooperation. This is but one of many technological initiatives we're developing with Bahrain under SISIPA in areas like telecom, artificial intelligence, and space cooperation. And as we grow our mutual collaboration, much as the announcement made last night, we also look to expanding the number of countries that participate in those efforts as well towards our mutual goals of prosperity and peace. Thank you. And it is wonderful to be here to share this with you. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you, Thank you. as well.